A function processes numbers like a smelter processes ore. A smelter acts as a function, and when given an input, ore will produce an output, metal. Likewise, in math, a function is a mathematical machine that processes an input value into an output value. It's represented by an equation in which each number input will only ever have one output. If an input ever has more than one output, then the equation is not a function. This is an example of a function. X is the input, designated by parentheses. Numbers can be substituted for X in order to find the total value of F of X. When 1 is substituted for X, the value of F of 1 would be 1 squared, which is 1. When X is 2, F of 2 is 4. When X is 3, F of X is 9. In mathematical terms, a function is defined by domain, range, and relation. This example shows a function with a variable and the same function with a specific domain value substituted for X. The domain of a function is the set of all inputs and correlates to the variable in parentheses, often X. The range of a function is the set of outputs that correlate to the inputs and is the answer to the function given an in input, such as 3. The relation is the function in the equation into which the input is placed. Functions come in various forms that allow substituting a number value for X and finding Y. One format is slope-intercept form, or Y equals MX plus B in which f of x is simply replaced by y. Another way a function can be solved is by using a table in which an x column has numbers along the domain and a y column has the corresponding range values. You can also have a middle column that can show the relation. A graph is one of the most common forms of a function. Since an x input will have a y output, functions can be graphed as points, lines, and a variety of other forms. An example of a function in slope-intercept form is f of x equals one-half x plus two. But you can also look at it as y equals one-half x plus two. The slope is one-half and the y-intercept is two. You can find solutions for domain values simply by plugging in numbers for the domain variable x. If 4 was placed in the function, it would be f of 4 equals 1 half times 4 plus 2, or y equals 1 half times 4 plus 2. In this case, the range would be 4 when x is 4, and this could be graphed as ordered pair, 4, 4. With an equation, you can also build a table. A table would have a domain column and a range column. The domain column could have a list of specific values, and the Y column could be comprised of the corresponding range values. The range values are found by substituting domain values into the equations, so a table is more a tool for organizing solutions, perhaps in preparation for constructing a graph. A graph is a visual representation of all of the solutions of a function. Most of the time, there are an infinite number of solutions which could never be completed on a table. Tables can be useful in plotting several points of a function from which a graph can be drawn by connecting the dots. If the following was all the information given, you could create an equation, a table, and a graph. You know that it's a straight line, and if you were to calculate slope with the slope equation, you would get a slope of 2. This will give you the equation y equals 2x plus b. To find the y-intercept, the values of either point can be substituted into y equals 2, x plus b, and then solved for b. For example, look at the equation 4 equals 2 times 1 plus b. In the case of this equation, b is 2. The equation for the line that goes through the two given points is y equals 2x plus 2. Once you have an equation, you can build a table. Tables are completed by substituting the domain values for x, solving for y, and writing them in the corresponding row. Look again at the previous equation, y equals 2x plus 2. Domains are listed in the left column and substituted into the relation in the middle column. The solution for each is in the y column. Constructing a graph of y equals 2x plus 2 is like graphing any other line, but it's even easier since you're already given two points. To graph from the equation, you know the line will pass through the y-intercept at point 0, 2. You can graph a subsequent point according to the slope, up 2 and right 1, or down 2 and left 1. Once you have two points, a line can be drawn. To solve this problem, first you need to calculate slope from the two points. 
The slope formula will give you a slope of one half. Now that you have y equals one half times x plus b, you can take the values for one of the points and substitute them for x and y. You get five equals one half times two plus b. In this case, b equals four. Given the final equation, y equals one half times x plus four. Functions are extensively used in many math and real world applications. It's important that you understand the basics before moving into their complexities.